Here on Tobacco University, I'm going to go over tap water use for cannabis production. When it comes to tap water or city water, a lot of growers won't utilize it for cannabis, but however, it can be a viable resource to use for irrigating your plants and can potentially can cause no harm. However, the basics of tap water or city water is that it's the easiest form of water as it comes directly from the tap. So many growers, this is what they mainly have access to. However, it should be tested to know what is in the water. This will vary based on your location and even within your town. So if you're getting town or city water, you can call up the water company and typically they're doing testing anyway on a regular basis. And it's good to know what is in your water because one town or one location of town might have different levels than another location. So it's important to know what actually is in your tap water or city water. Can tap water be used uh, for cannabis production? And in some cases, yes, and it can produce quality yields. So a lot of growers will often want to shy away from this, want to grow through these massive purification processes. Some conditions that's justified, but other conditions it's not. And other cases potentially could cause plant damage. So it's knowing again, what is in your tap water. So it's a general term that we give to a variable source of water. Now, when it comes to cleaning your tap water, depending on what your tap water contains, different filter options may be utilized to purify the water to make it usable for cannabis production. And you don't need to use everything here in the picture, but these are just a sampling of some filtration methods, mainly used for kind of house filters that can easily be implemented to help purify that water that you have coming from the tap. Now, which filter is best? And I put best there in quotes because filter selection should be based on what the grower wants to filter out of the water. Different filters have different target substances, so the best filter is one that matches the substances the best. Just because it looks clear doesn't mean it's free of contaminants. Just because it looks dirty doesn't mean it's absolutely horrible. Um, looking at these two water sources will require different methods of filtration. And lastly, some filter options. There's carbon filters, which remove chemicals and heavy metals. And then there are sediment filters, which capture and removes particulate matter, such as soil and debris from the water. If you want to learn more about either carbon filters or sediment filters, check out other videos here on Tobacco University.